everyone welcome back to the fish stalker channel i just wanted to go ahead and run through the software update on the Minn Kota Ultera iPilot link the one i own is a 80 pound thrust 24 volt had it for four years now it's worked flawlessly had to do one update act goofy for a little bit until i did it uh, very low maintenance, never let me down. So I'll put the camera on, get my phone out, and show you what that software update consists of, guys. Okay, get right with you. You want to start off with your app, iPilot Link. Allow. Agree. Okay, motor not found. Turn on the Ultera up front. She's on as you can see. And every indicator's on. Uh, it says, new software update. Would you like to update? Yes. Okay, you wanna also turn on your remote. It also updates the remote, so get that ready. Press to begin update. Improved Bluetooth connectivity is the update. Keep the phone in range. Do not remove power from the motor. Keep app in the foreground until update is complete. Okay. All right, just let it run. So it's already talking to the motor. You can see the percent going up. So you basically just wait on it. A lot of times there's an update for your remote, so that's why I uh, keep the remote handy. Twenty four percent. So I've only had this is only the second time I've had to do it. Last time it was giving me issues and I wasn't sure what it was. I called them and somebody over there was trying to tell me battery voltage is bad. But uh, I got a hold of an actual guy who knew over there at Minkota and he walked me through it. Motors worked flawlessly ever since, so just something you gotta check on every once in a while, guys. The Hummingbird Helix is the same way, so when I need to update that, I will walk you through it too. So it's pretty simple. Just make sure you put the app on your phone. You go to Google Play or Apple Store, it's free. So it's not a big deal. Just kind of, you got to wait on it just a little bit. And then I always test the trolling motor. I don't, I never do a self launch after an update unless I have somebody in the boat. You want to make sure it's all taken good. So I'll test it in the driveway too, a little bit. So it just keeps it current. It's almost there. And then here in a minute we'll know if there's an update for the remote. Ninety-three percent. Almost there, guys. It doesn't take too long to load. Ninety-nine percent. Update complete. Software update complete. iPilot restarting. Initiate update process for on remote after restart. It says here. 
new software available. So we're going to update that. Uh, go ahead and hit update. Software uploading. It may take a minute. So. Then you get your current software as a function better than it did, which is great. Shouldn't be too much longer. Basically, it'll say complete when it's done, so. And then after you do this, uh, when you get out on the lake, you want to recalibrate one time. Which I can go ahead and do a recalibration the very next time I get on the water. So that everybody can see that little procedure. So if you're thinking about buying one, I highly recommend them. Minn Kota Altera is an awesome tool. I couldn't even think about fishing without it after owning it for four years. I don't use an anchor. I use it to steer while I troll. I use it to launch. I use it to sit out there and wait for me while I get the truck. Like I said, just amazing tool, guys. Really enjoy owning it. To me, it was more important than a kicker motor, so. Kicker motor's next. Okay, loading, okay. She's ready, all updated. And ready to go, guys, so. As soon as I can, I will hit the water and I'll get you a recalibration video, guys. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy lake fishing, catfishing, kokanee, king salmon, bass, all species, check out the fishing videos, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you on the next one.